Alexa, pause. Good morning. The sun is shining today. And I feel like a brand new human when the sun is shining. Um, I am just doing my morning skincare. I just did my little ice roller. I have Morgan Wallen's new album on volume 10 while we're getting ready this morning. I just have an ice roll and then I put these little patches on. I love them. They're like cooling. They feel so good. I need to do like wash my face and do all my skincare. But I'm going to get ready. I have a whole bunch of stuff to get done today. I have a ton of laundry that I need to get folded and put away make my bed, clean up, that kind of stuff. And um, I went to Home Goods. I filmed that and I gave you guys a haul when I went to Home Goods of like all the organizing stuff I got. We did the linen closet already. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go watch it. Um, but now we're gonna work on the pantry today. I'm gonna cut some vinyl for labels for um, like the plastic bins that I did in the linen closet. And then we are gonna work the pantry today too so thank you to Cricut for working with me on this video today we're gonna get out the Cricut maker and cut some um, removable vinyl so that way I can make labels and then if I need to like change them out at some point then it'll be easy to take off so anyways I'm gonna get ready and I need to unpack from our trip still it's Thursday we got back on Sunday but this is just it's just me <laughs> All right, I just finished getting ready. I actually have not done my hair all week, and I think I already told you guys, today's Thursday. So, I showered last night, let my hair air dry, and then um, finally did my hair for the first time this week, and actually got ready. But I'm gonna get my shoes on real quick, and run up to the Bucks. I ordered some espresso shots over ice, cup and the blonde espresso shots are really good I need to get um, some espresso pods for my Nespresso machine but for now I've just been really into getting espresso shots from Starbucks and then I dump a premier protein shake in there and it's just really good so I'm gonna run up and grab that and then I actually ordered um, a few things a few things i ordered a bunch of stuff from costco like snacks and stuff that we need to stock up on so um that will be here in a little while i just order on instacart and then i'm gonna work on doing labels for the hall closet or the linen closet and then i'm gonna get to work on the pantry so lots of stuff to work on today but i'm gonna go get my coffee gotta grab one of these Oh, I also got um, some lunches for myself from Factor, and I haven't tried it yet, so I'm gonna be trying this today. Um, they're like, it's like meal prep, that's, they like do it for you. So I think Donnie took one with him for lunch today at work. <laughs> There's my three shots of blonde espresso. And then just dump this in. 30 grams of protein, some caffeine, and it's really, really delicious. Look at that beauty. Okay, now we gotta go home and get to work. So I just realized I need to get gas. Um, so I'm pulling in to the gas station right now. The car that I drive, I have a 2015 um, Yukon Denali, and in the manual for this car, it says you're supposed to put premium in it. So I always put premium in it, and premium right now at Safeway gas station in our town is $3.99 a gallon. Um, I'm not sure what regular is. I can't, it's like up on the side of the building, so I can't see, but I'm curious to know what gas prices are where you live. I think it's $3.59 for regular and like $4.85 for um, diesel. The gas attendant guy is like standing right here. Oh yeah, in Oregon, you don't pump your own gas. 
it makes like for job it's actually illegal to pump your own gas there's people that like work at the gas pumps um, and they do it for you you just pull up and give them your card and they you tell them what you want fill it with premium they do it and then give you your receipt um, however if you drive a diesel like Donnie's truck he can get out and pump diesel himself if he wants to but they'll also do it for you I think there's only like a few states two three states that um, you can't pump your own gas so fun fact if you didn't know but anyways he's like standing right there he was watching me vlog but I'm um, filling filling up I was almost on E so we'll see how much she costs you, you too day. thank you so much 85 or no 87.45 all right so I got my Cricut maker out I also have the Cricut Joy which is like a smaller version if you don't ever do like any big projects that one's awesome but i am obsessed with my cricut maker it is so beautiful um so i'm gonna get her turned on fired up and ready to go it is wireless so um it just has like the you know the power cord to plug in so then i can like do the the cricut design space on my computer and then it just wirelessly cuts the vinyl or prints whatever project you're doing so i've got my tools out here that I like to use these are like my three that I use most of the time and then I've got my light grip mat I have this uh, removable vinyl that I'm gonna use I like to use removable vinyl when I'm doing labels for organizing because then later on down the road if I want to reorganize I can um, just use a little scraper and remove the vinyl and then cut new vinyl. So love that. I'm just going to use white. And then I just got a new pack of transfer tape for transferring my vinyl cuts onto my organizing bins. So I need to open that up. My Cricut Design Space opened up. Cricut Design Space makes it so easy to do these projects. You can make a Cricut project in under 10 minutes for sure. It's honestly just three easy steps. Create your design in the design space, cut with your Cricut machine, and then assemble your project. The Cricut machine is so worth it, especially if you like want to do these types of projects. You can do so many things with a Cricut machine. Um, I mean, the list is endless, the amount of things, the amount of projects that you can do. And all of the Cricut materials are top-notch quality and cut so precisely that Cricut Maker just cuts so good. So I have sheets here that I just pulled out of the dryer that I need to fold up and put away um, in the linen closet. But you guys saw that I did all this organizing. This is that bin for those sheets. But I did all this organizing last week and I told you that I wanted to cut some labels for these six bins here. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do one that says pillowcases. Um, this will say like twin duvets using the Cricut Design Space is really awesome for not only cutting vinyl, which is what I mostly use it for, but like um, cutting the iron-on vinyl too. Like I've made shirts for the kids. Like there's so many possibilities. It's a lot of fun. But today, since I'm just doing some labels, I'm just going to go to new project and um, pick a font and then cut out the vinyl for the labels. So I'm just going to do text and then pick out a font here that I think will be good for a label. So I got all my stuff typed out. I've got twin duvet covers, twin flannel sheets, twin cotton sheets, king linen sheets, king cotton sheets, extra pillowcases. So now I'm going to go grab my little measuring tape and just make sure I know what size I want all the labels to be. So up here and then also here um, gives you a measurement so then you know where to place everything um, and like the length of all of your labels and also um, like the size of the sheet of vinyl that it's going to be cutting on so that way you can like measure everything out and get like the best use out of your vinyl. Okay so I think I'm going to do eight inches for oh, the little end of my measuring tape just came up. I think I'm going to do eight inches for the labels on these because they're ten inches wide. So I think eight will be good and centered. The cutting mat that I have is 12 inches. So it's actually, it's 12 by 12. So I can just use the measurements on the design space and figure out 
the layout, and then I will put my vinyl on my cutting mat, feed it in to my Cricut Maker, and cut the vinyl. It's gonna be super quick. So on my Cricut Design Space, I arranged all of the labels I'm going to cut out. So it's going to be 8 by 7 on here. I've got a little extra here from last time. So I'm just going to cut it off and then we're going to cut, let's see, so this will stick right on here, 8 by 7. This is just how I do it. I'm sure there's lots of ways that people plan out their vinyl cuts. Um, but I'm just gonna cut along these lines. I love that the Cricut vinyl has these lines on the back for straight cutting and measuring. It's so helpful. So that is the vinyl that I'm gonna be using. I'm going to make sure that the vinyl side is up and stick that down, line it up. Okay, our vinyl is ready to go. And then on my computer, we're ready to go. So um, I have everything like lined up here, ready to cut. Um, so I just have to go to continue um, and then it's gonna Bluetooth connect to my maker. You just make sure that your device is on, you're connected to Bluetooth and then it will pop up. And then I'm just gonna click on vinyl because that's what I'm cutting on. So you see that load button is flashing now. That means it's ready to go. So I've got my cutting that on there ready to go. I'm gonna push that and it's gonna suck it in and read where my vinyl is and then it's gonna be ready to go. And once this Cricut light lights up, that means it is ready. So then it will cut the vinyl. So there we go. Now I just have to push that and it's gonna start cutting. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this little tool here and first we're gonna take the vinyl off of the pad. So, you can see, let's see if I can show you guys. You can see the letters that are cut out on here. So we have to get rid of all of the excess. So I'm just gonna peel the background first. I like to use this little hook tool because it's pokey so it helps like grab onto it. So I'm gonna just work on pulling the excess off first. And then just in between the letters, you know, like the G, there's gonna be like a little piece that needs to come out of there. So I'm just going to go through and weed out all of the vinyl that is not going to be on the labels. transfer tape got my label peel the backing off of the transfer tape put the transfer tape onto the label and then I just use my little 
this little tool to rub it on and then pull back the vinyl push down on it some more with that tool if it's not sticking just go slowly so it lifts up all the vinyl and then it is ready to transfer to the bin in the closet so this one is the twin flannel sheets so I'm just gonna eyeball these go with it use this little tool to press it on and then pull the transfer tape again well, there it is our first label so let's finish the rest of them So simple, quick, easy, and now all of these are labeled so that way the whole family knows what is what and what goes where when laundry gets done. So I love it. While I was working on this, my Costco grocery order got delivered so I'm going to go grab that stuff off of the front porch, give you guys a little grocery haul, and then we're going to move on to organizing the pantry because it's a mess. All right, I'm gonna tell you guys what I got real quick. Um, I'm not gonna put a bunch of stuff away right now just because I'm getting ready to organize. I'll put the freezer stuff away, but I got some more Premier Protein. I got two things of bananas. I swear bananas from Costco are always green. Always, always, always. Two things of bananas. We got some of Donnie's favorite mango. I got three of those. We got some buttermilk bread, snacks for the kids. This Annie's bunny snack pack has like the birthday cake bunny grams and also the cheddar bunnies. We got some eggs. These little pizza, um, six pepperonis, six cheese, like individual pizzas. That's better. Uh, we have some Uncrustables. Two things of strawberries. We got the organic gummy bear fruit snacks and then also the Mott's fruit snacks. Donnie likes the Mott's. The kids like both. And then we have some goldfish crackers, the individual ones for the kids' lunches. Um, some protein bars. Some popcorn and then I got some juice boxes for the kids lunches some more sparkling water and um, I've never had these Celsius drink I've had Celsius but I haven't had these flavors so the peach tropical and Arctic so we shall see how those are but I'm gonna get to work um, I just want to clear everything out of this entire thing I'm just going to empty it and then I'm just gonna rework everything we're gonna redo everything
Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away. We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter Okay, I got everything out of these shelves here And here, this is all empty Um... And then I need to also empty out this little corner cabinet and figure out what I want to store down here. I think I want to do like canned stuff and like back stock. Standing in a blurry dream, no one else can see her. Live your life within the moment, moment, and don't go wait until the morning. About your posts, I know they're only fake. 
show us what you own and how much money that you make. <laughs> yeah, I know that you're trying to fix me, but I don't want to be like you. Keep your stupid job, pretend that you're the person you wanted to be. <laughs> and you're dying not to work, but work until you die. And you're dying not to work, but work until you die. You're dying not to work, but work until you die. You're die, 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 die inside. I just made a list of what labels I want to make. So then I can go in my room, type these up, and cut the vinyl. So I don't know. I'm thinking that I'm not going to cut vinyl. I was going to do like just snacks, 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 but I don't think I'm going to do that because these are ever changing. I think I'm going to do cereal for sure. So I'll do two cereals. Um, and then I don't think I'm going to do these either, but I think I'm going to do these. So I'll, we always have mango. So I'm going to do mango pretzels and then I'll do pasta for all of those. And then I think that will look really nice and organized. Mm -hmm. To the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more. No, just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now, it doesn't even matter. It's too late. Say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now, it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let. I just finished up doing the labels and all of that. So now I have to clean up my mess from cutting all this vinyl. It's really not that big of a mess because you hardly use any materials for that kind of project. But it is 5.30 and I gotta get dinner started. It's really nice out today and I haven't got to be outside at all. So I'm gonna go take Cash for a walk and then make dinner. So thanks for hanging out with me today and getting these projects done that I've been putting off getting done. I'm glad they're done now, but thank you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.